the, the one that transmitted the right uh, could pass. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. So essentially that is how it is under international law. Whether we agree or disagree with that is a policy decision and if there is a there is a perspective uh, that can be offered by you from the policy perspective, then let's, uh, let's have it on the floor and we should discuss it. But at this point in time, it's a legal question already and let us be decide uh, internationally. And so we, we have, it is something that we have to live with. Thank you. Thank you, sir. My name is Asari Yes, actually, that was one of the I did try to raise my characters to the legal discourse as a basically a post colonial discourse. To, to, to the legal system, which is based on this idea that Philippine territory is defined by Trinidad Paris, uh, as I said, this is really part of that historical baggage. Uh, actually, our, our national territory seems to be a community that was defined historically by colonial and post-colonial forces. And that's why, for me, at present, uh, there's not much you can do about it. I mean, it's a historical fact. Whether, I think the, the relevance of how we treat the Philippine Paris comes, with, uh, comes into the, the value that we would place on the document and the boundaries that it defines. So I remember one of the questions that always bothered me was that uh, people who advocate uh, the Treaty of Paris lines against the maritime zones of the Convention on the Law of Sea were also the people who were uh, basically very nationalistic, very uh, 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 pro-Filipino. And I found it a contradiction that a nationalist would be uh, uh, drawing upon a colonial instrument as the basis, as a fundamental element of his or her And this is one probably of the contradictions, in the internal contradictions, the philosophical contradictions in our attitudes, in our perspectives about our history, about our social imaginary, or our, our concept of the Philippines, that we have not really brought to the service and, and really propounded the thought. Uh, for us lawyers who will be able to litigate uh, issues like this, uh, whether it in Paris is or not, or is not part of the Constitution, those kinds of questions, those kinds of philosophical considerations are completely out of the, out of the window. We do not care about it, basically, because what, what lawyers care about is the law, the text, not what's behind the text, not what it means, not what it implies, not what its historical background is. And I think uh, that's probably the, that's probably one of our problems. That's probably why we cannot see to find, or why we have not been able to find a clear way around these legal issues, because we treat them as isolated legal, uh, technical, verbal problems, rather than having a clear theoretical background framework in which to view these problems. So I agree with you, but I, I, I. I it's good that you actually raise that question because that's precisely the kind of questions that have been uh, completely ignored. In all this time, we've been talking about data values and the world. Thank you. Uh, guys. That's very well said, Professor Batambaka. For, for myself, I would just like uh, to say that in regard to the Treaty of Paris, I think as Jean Paul Sartre said, history is what other people make of us. For me, however, I would say history is what we make of what other people make of us. So, the Treaty of Paris, as, uh, as located in post-colonial discourse, is there. And the question is, how how do we make how much do we make out of that document for our own interests? Um, and that, for me, is the is the question that I, I, I am constantly struggling with as a lawyer. But thank you for raising that question. That's one of the historical paradoxes that we as a people face. But, but it's not unique to the Philippines. As I, as, as I said, the Africans, at the start, when they were talking about all these latitudes and lines that, that divided Africa, all the nationalists were raising a lot of bother about it. But even though they said it's better that way, otherwise, we will have an Africa that will be forever uh, 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 ridden with wars and conflicts. 
So they, they left the uh, colonial demarcated lines uh, as the <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, sorry for additional questions. You can just approach our speakers. We are told that we have to stop. Thank you for attending our forum. We thank our speakers for their attendance and their discussions. And I hope uh, we will still have another forum for this. Thank you.